Have you ever wondered if I only had more baits in the water, I would catch more fish? Well, today we're gonna find out. I've got 10 surf rods rigged up, baits in the water. We're gonna get started, but if you notice you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to fishing. I've got 10 sand spikes. This is the most sand spikes I've ever carried to the beach. Look at this. I'm a little overwhelmed. More rods than my beach cart will even hold. I had to carry two. But getting an early start, the sun is trying to come up over the horizon. Let's start getting set up. I gotta do this 10 times. I even had to borrow my wife's rod, her pink rod. I didn't quite have 10 setups. Okay, first rod, single drop, widening rig with a piece of shrimp, that's it, and a bead. Second drop, double drop, pompano rig. This is the Bama Beach Bum rig from Salty's Rigs. That's what I'm using today for all my pompano rigs. Thank you, Salty, for providing those so I didn't have to tie them myself. But just shrimp and fish gum. And we're just using shrimp and fish gum on everything right now just to keep it simple. Some I will do just pieces of shrimp or just pieces of fish gum. This is a single drop whiting rig with a piece of shrimp. Another double drop pompano rig with shrimp and fish gum. Single drop whiting rig with just a piece of shrimp. Double drop pompano rig with just a piece of fish gum on top and a piece of shrimp on bottom. Single drop whiting rig, just a piece of shrimp and a bead. Double drop pompano rig with a piece of fish gum and fish gum and shrimp. Another single drop whiting rig with just a piece of shrimp. And finally, good gracious, <laughs> a double drop pompano rig with a piece of shrimp and a piece of fish gum. My goodness, it's taken forever to get set up. I highly don't recommend attempting this at home. This is, this is advanced. All right, we're gonna finally cast all these out and start fishing. As I'm doing this with my 10 rods, they are gonna be at completely different depths, just staggered all out there. <laughs> so in theory, if anything swims by at any depth, we should have a shot at it. All right, all casts are out. We've got a million baits in the water, feels like. We got our first fish. It is the first rod. That did not take long. It didn't take long at all. This feels like a, a really good fish. Oh yeah. Good whiting. <laughs> okay. Man, things, uh, things can get crazy if these guys start biting. Start biting good. Fishing's still a little slow. I don't expect to crush it, but uh, it's a good start. This is a whiting or Gulf Kingfish, very common surf fish. We'll get them back, very good to eat. Not keeping fish today. Just out here for fun. We'll get the little guy back. All right, thanks buddy. See ya. This went slack. I was moving the camera. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 this is a real fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. In the same spot. We might have to move some baits around. Okay, this could get crazy while I'm fighting this fish when you've got this many baits in the water. Oh my goodness. This is a, a really nice fish. We might be proving some points here today with how we're, how we're doing this. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about our experiences at the end of the morning. Okay, 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 buddy. Okay. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. 
just on a piece of shrimp, whiting rig up close. Man, he doesn't want to quit. So much fun on the lighter tackle, on the lighter setup. Just got a little circle hook. Okay. Okay. He was on the beach and didn't like it. This is a really feisty fish. I mean, look at this. Checking my other rods while I'm dealing with this guy. Okay, we got him on the beach. Finally, finally on the beach. Wow. Oh, beautiful red, beautiful redfish. Beautiful red here to start the morning on the light tackle. Uh, probably 25 inch red. Man, it's already starting out to be a great morning. We got a lot of rods in the water, but uh, there's one particular spot that's producing. We'll get them back. <laughs> Thank you for the fight. We'll see you. Oh, 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 there you go, there you go. So pretty, that light color out here on the beach. All right, we're gonna put that back where I caught that red. Same general area, I caught that whiting. I was just repositioning my camera, and as I was doing that, that, that rod got hammered by that redfish. If I catch another fish on this rod, before anything else, I may rotate one of my small rods. That's a still, one of my still head light setups with a single drop. I may rotate one of those beside it as well because that's definitely this little structure right here has produced for us. Nothing else has. I just had a fellow fisherman walk by and uh, I got some funny looks. This definitely looks a little ridiculous <laughs> with 10 out here. How many of you want all 10 to just fold over at once? Comment below. Let me know how much chaos you'd like to see with this setup. Here comes our buddy Fred. He's creeping in. He's like, this guy's got to have some bait or some fish with this many rods. Fred, we're getting serious with it today, man. He smells these shrimpers. Among my 10 rods, I do have the Bummy Stick out here. Great all-around surf rod, I always say. For an all-around surf rod, the Bummy Stick is really a great rod if you're only gonna get one or if you just need something to be versatile. You can throw heavy plugs, you can set rig fish with it, great rod. We do have them back in stock. Got a link in the description, you wanna go pick one up, go do that now, just in time for the spring run. Things are not looking promising today with my 10 beach rods. It's, it's slow fishing. Oh, something might have just hit that last one. It just rocked up. It looks slack. I think we got a hit as I was just talking about how slow it was. Oh yeah, a lot of slack. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. It hit it and swam in. I think he's still on. Where are you? Oh, there he is. It's a papado. It's a papado. <laughs> he's a little guy. But we finally got a fish out deep. First two fish were up close. But uh, that's species number three. I was just talking about how slow it was. And uh, for this to be a little guy, he popped that rod down there at the end and he swam in super fast. But this is a uh, Florida Pompano, species number three this morning. <laughs> He's a little guy. We'll get him back. All right, thank you, Mr. Pompano. I think this is the first one of the year for me. I think you are. 
That's it. Oh, that was bad timing, buddy. There you go. There you go. He's good. He's good. <laughs> I threw him back and uh, wave hit him. Well, that fish could not have been more on cue. I just got the camera on. Talk about how slow it is. And, uh, and he popped it. Well, today was a challenge even without the bite being that hot. Just keeping up with baits, managing them, making sure lines aren't crossing. Like, that's enough to think about all on its own when things heat up water temps are still low but when things heat up if you want to see me try this again with way more activity comment below let me know things could get a little bit chaotic when the fishing is just going off out here the wind has picked up uh it's time for me to pack it in i i think it was a successful first run it's interesting both end rods were the ones to catch fish this one caught the first two fish this morning in a very specific spot i ran five rods i went over each one but i had five with double drop pompano rigs and five with single drop whiting rigs i put the five pomp rigs out deep the five whiting rigs up close fish with only shrimp and fish gum main reason this first run everything eats shrimp and we caught three fish three different species that's proof there everything eats it so i wanted to maximize my opportunities to catch any fish that swam by it was a lot of fun hopefully you enjoyed this video if you want to see more let me know if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up and as always you stay bummy <laughs>